Hi, is that Rosella? It's Rosella, yes. Hello, my name's Lee from Heart FM in Spain. Hi, Lee. How are you doing today? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you so much for talking to us and taking the time out. Um, oh, my pleasure. Now, you, you're in London at the moment, I understand. Yes, I am, I am. I live in London. Ah, right, okay. Now, of course, everybody knows the name Rosala from um, Everybody's Free, etc. Um, yeah. The Queen of Rave, as you were known at the time. Yes. Um, that, that time must have been absolutely fantastic for you, the early 90s. It was. It was an absolute... I mean, when I look back now, I think, wow, it went by so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> it really did. And I think if I had the opportunity again... Would I have done anything differently? But, you know, you just go with the flow, don't you? Well, that's right. Yes, you must. And, I mean, the, the track itself, that particular track, was a hit all over Europe and, and even in the States, I understand. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Quite an achievement. <laughs> a huge achievement. A lot of my friends... I mean, until today, everybody's free, you know, gets played. Uh, oh, there's yeah. constantly so many remixes that I've lost um, touch with obviously you know and um, it, it's still out there and you know therefore because of everybody's free and its success worldwide I'm still fortunate enough to uh, be getting club date offers and still going out and performing it. Now you, you also managed to um, tour with uh, Michael Jackson. Yes I did. Wow. I know you see another one that went by so quickly. <laughs> I mean, what was it like working with Michael Jackson? Is he the, as, as crazy as everybody sort of th seems to think? Or you, you know, um, he was such a nice guy to me. And uh, he personally chose me to be on the Jackson tour. I just signed to Sony and Michael was looking for someone that was happening in, at that time around Europe. And as you know, I had three big hits for me around that time. Everybody's free being one of them. Are you ready to fly and faith in the power of love? And I met uh, Michael on a few occasions. I've even got a picture with myself and him. And he really was a nice guy. He really was. I mean, and he didn't really speak in such a high-pitched voice like how they tease. <laughs> Don't laugh, Lee. That's so I'm funny. Not, not. <laughs> Honestly, he, he spoke normally, you know. And, um, and he was really nice. And he's like, oh, I can hear the crowd screaming for you, you know. And... Uh, Thanks for doing the tour with me. And I'm like, thanks, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so he really was a nice guy. And then after that period, um, I guess you took a little bit of time with a few albums coming out um, with, a, with a remix in 96 of Everybody's Free. Right. Uh, which once again, um, I think, got into the hit. It got into the charts. Yeah. But now you've come back with an absolutely fabulous album. Oh, thank you. I must admit, when I first heard it, I was sort of... Whoa, that's not what I expected. <laughs> that's a that's a response I wanted, but a positive one. Yeah, because all of a sudden, um, I mean, I, I don't know whether you, you were sort of working on it or you were um, taking time out, but the voice seems to have got totally different with that oh. sort of mellow jazz soul sound. It's beautiful. Yeah, I think I think my voice has matured a great deal since I last recorded Everybody's Free. I mean, obviously, how old is Everybody's Free? It's now, I think, 19 years old this year. Mm. You know, and my voice has matured a lot then. And, um, you know, when I sing Everybody's Free in the clubs, I sing uh, sometimes with the vocal left on. And when I leave the vocal um, left on, I sing live over it. And some of those notes can be quite high for me to reach. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking, oh, my God, where's that voice gone to? Because I'm now sort of, you know, much more deeper and I can still reach the high notes, but in the level of the, the voice that I, I now have. Yeah. Now yeah. The album, Brand New Version, um, <clears throat> released under your, under your name, Zala Miller. Yes. It, it is a far more, as I say, sort of jazzy, soul -y type of sound. As well as eight brand new tracks, you've also got a brilliant cover, which I absolutely love. And I played it yesterday on my show because I just think it's awesome. And that's Paul Oh, Miller's thank Bro you. Broken Stones. I love that. Oh, thank you. I didn't think you were going to say that one. I was thinking, okay, here goes. You're going to say everybody's free again. No, no I love <laughs> Broken Stones. What you've done with that is absolutely superb. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It came by... Um, to be honest, Lee, I'd never heard that song in my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, Simon Lowry, who played um, piano on all the tracks and produced the album, said, wouldn't it be nice for you to do a track by an artist where, you know, when they hear it, they think, gosh, this is Rosella who did Everybody's Free. And uh, she's covering a track that 
you know, would shock people. And uh, I heard the song and I thought, yeah, I like that. And I said to Simon, look, don't play too much. Just uh, play the song once or twice. And then Simon made up a, a melody and a tune to go with it. And I just sung uh, the way I felt, you know, I, I could hear the song being sung in my head. And that's what came out. Oh, it's superb. Thank um, you. When, I love that song too. It's great. When, when we yeah. got the album, um, first off, um, we actually got it into the studio, as we do with, with all um, albums, and uh, just sort of listened to a couple of the tracks. And I must admit that, you know, the, the first reaction was, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was a fly in the wall because that's exactly what I wanted to to, you know, the reaction to be, but obviously a positive reaction, and so far so goodly. I'm really, really chuffed. Oh, it, it, it is an excellent album. Um, 